another organ video and uh, as you guys can see I'm busy to strip down the organ again because uh, I want to uh, make it into a chamber organ this is a virtual <coughs> pipe organ and it was built um, to be played as a regular organ as um, as well and that was during the time well, I built five of these organs and um, obviously software developers had contacted me and I was experimenting with um, with different virtual pipe organs not only um, church organs but um, also house organs chamber organs etc and then the software developers contacted me and I built this organ with working registers as a house organ project and um, then since um, since I've done this project uh, I always wanted to convert it back to a chamber organ um, because I think that's where my love is that is the organ that went into that other church um, is uh, basically a chamber organ and um, <coughs> so I want to what I want to do here is basically a a two manual chamber organ and the two manuals must be exactly centered to the organ cabinet and the one above the other one and that is going to be the project and then but the whole organ is working um, fine as it is the bottom manual is the choir division and the top is the swells and the grate which is coupled. Um, okay, let me just uh, uh, show you a couple of pictures, photographs of how I stripped the organ and um, yeah, now I'll just uh, start it up before continuing to strip. section I just want to show you the choir R's what they call choir R's they sound like now I can put a bit of sustain on the choir R's but because there's sustain on the organ upper the two sustains almost clash so um, but it sounds beautiful if you combine the two together. Maybe I could do a digital recording of just that section. I obviously played wrong because of this. The keys are all loose now because the organ is already stuck, but um, let me um, quickly do a recording of that and then you can hear it sort of better. Okay, I've got the recorder running the second time.
in that recording you heard the um, choirs. Now, the whole organ is already stripped and the cabinet is losing its structure, these notes. Um, I'm going to strip off this manual, but that gives you an idea of the choir and the organ and the and the thing. And what I'm basically going to build is to centralize everything. Okay, now I want to show you a bit of magic. First thing that's going to come out is the pedals. This is the MIDI controller. Now I'll take out the upper manual. Now this is a careful tangle. In here is the entire upper of the organ. Okay, right guys, that is the entire upper of the organ and pedals and the MIDI component. MIDI components, everything comes out like that. It's all connected. Believe me or not, it will work. It still work. You just plug in the, the computer and um, pops your uncle. Okay. So now I've got only my lower manual left and it's um, and its components so the pedals is out and now basically all I'm going to do is I'm going to move this manual to the center of the organ and then I'm going to line up the other one right on top Okay guys, that is the complete lower manual with MIDI component, the entire lot. Now, the cabinet is now stripped thus far and basically what I have to do is, is to strip the cabinet further to move these um, these brackets and while I'm at it, while the cabinet is stripped this far, I'm going to um, um, take out the front face and I'm going to fix the hole because there was the, um, a computer monitor in that hole and uh, I don't want that anymore so I'm going to finish the front side of the organ. Um, so I'm so in a couple of days um, I'm going to upload the video again as I start to assemble the organ again now basically it looks completely broken and stripped but this is all finished building and working if you wonder anyway by the way if you wonder how you build this, you basically find yourself a huge, huge table and then you just build everything on a table. And then 
and you chuck it back in the cabinet. So that is the section that is built and that is the section on its own and the whole lot just plugs into the computer. There we have it. Okay guys, see you in a couple of days and um, then you'll see how I assemble the organ and um, make this one to a full chamber organ.